Hey, this is Jeff, and welcome to my shop. So in today's project, we're going to be building this camera dolly. So this camera dolly is for my uh, video rig. So this is just made from 2x4s. I milled these up four square off camera. You don't need to watch that. That's not super interesting. I think the coolest feature of this is the three-way lap joint that joins these three pieces together. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I make that lap joint. So it's done almost entirely on the table saw. So quick, fun, useful project for the shop. So please follow along and enjoy, and thank you for watching. So these first set of cuts are done uh, on my miter sled, so 45 degree cuts. And I set the blade to one third of the thickness of the board. So in this case, that turned out to be seven uh, sixteenths. So set the height. Uh, I'm using a rip blade because it leaves a nice flat top uh, on the top of the cut, i.e. the bottom of the inside uh, of the board. So I had laid the mating piece across at a 45 degree angle and marked the stop and the start. So I sort of just start at the one end, nibble away, and I got close to the other end and test fit uh, before I took off the last final little bit to get as tight and snug a fit as possible. If I were planning to do a bunch of these, I would probably build a new miter sled that would let me put a dado stack in there and take this material away a little bit more at a time. Mm, not quite. fits like butter. Now setting up for the mating cut uh, on the next piece. Here I go to two-thirds of the thickness. This is also a 45. Uh, and these are going to be the first two that mate and cross. One-third plus two-thirds. If you do this right, these should just fit perfectly snug together. And looky there, comes out dead flush. So this next set of cuts here are done on my cross-cut sled. So we mark uh, the two ends first, and then hoping that you have these exactly the same overhang, uh, which is going to end up setting your angle from the backside. I had that a little bit off, and you'll see that in the end result. Um, but again, just take this until that the third cross piece goes through. And here we're cutting at one third of the depth through both of these two pieces that are currently made.
So now with the joint, f when it's sort of final dry assembly stage, I mark for the last set of cuts in the final piece. Uh, these are going to be cut at two-thirds of the depth, and you can see here, um, we take out that middle part and we leave those angles on the edges, uh, bringing the interior corner together. So I start by removing the bulk of the waste uh, just straight across in between the points on the crosscut sled. So here I'm showing the last little bit that's left to be removed. So you could choose to do this by hand with a saw and chisel, uh, but I just set up the miter gauge to exactly match that angle and nibbled out the last bit of material. So just to make it look a little nicer, I decided to put uh, a round on the end of each piece, both ends. So I started by roughing that out here on the bandsaw, and then I finished it up here on my oscillating sander. And then it was time for glue up. So simple glue ups like this and other safe shop activities are often better with the adult beverage of your choice. So then after sanding, finish, and adding some casters, the dolly's done. Thanks for watching.